Well, it's a 35th Christmas for the less fortunate families and the miners that need help. Everybody's welcome to come and get all the wonderful gifts we have. And we've been doing this a long time, you know. And first time, uh, you know, that I remember that we had so many miners out of work, you know. And, and uh, we wanted to try to be a part of that and make sure they all come and get everything we receive. We've got lots of gifts. And our people in North Carolina, our people in Tennessee has supported us so well. And then the ones that can afford it around here have done wonders. So we got a lot of gifts. We got furniture to give. We got household supplies. We got candy, apples, oranges. We got potatoes. We got cabbage. We got onions. And we got tons of toys for the children. Every year is very important to me, but I didn't realize the importance of it because, you know, we have a tendency of overlooking things. And, 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 and I just kept uh, doing it, and the Lord kept supplying me gifts. And I finally realized it wasn't me at all and uh, how, how grateful I am. And now it's become, it's become a huge program. But, you know, it's got to happen with my family and my friends because that's nobody gets paid here. They just come in and volunteer their help, you know. So that's the kind of program it is. We give, we get, and we give. We get, and we give. And then, then, then the more we seem to give, the more we receive. And so that's, that's what the program is all about. It's giving to the people that, that's in need. And this year I, I got a call from friends of mine down in Liza County, Kentucky. They got 200 coal miners been out of work a long time. And this coming week we're going to share uh, supplies with them. We're going, they're going to come, we're going to load trucks, we're going to go there and give them a Christmas. So I want everybody to know, you know, that you're welcome. We're going to be here all week. Till the last gift is gone out of this building. A little girl that started it one time when she called me and told me about her mom and dad or told me about her mother. Her father was deceased or she said she didn't have a father. But that started my whole program. Uh, 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 her telling me that her little brothers and sisters and her and wanted to get their mother something for Christmas. And, and it told me a sad story and I went and explored it and it was more than they ever taught. And so that's been in my heart ever since. And it's one little girl that started a program 12 years old from down Floyd County. I want to thank everybody that's been a part. There's too many to mention, but I certainly do want to thank the, you know, the, 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 the people that's on the air. That's a big part. I want to thank uh, all of the folks in the courthouse that's been a big part of this. I want to say thanks to, to Rodney and thanks to, thanks to our Judge Wayne T. Ruth for coming checking on me. And every person that's been here, the school board has been so wonderful to help me with this facility that there's no way we could ever do it without them. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm indebted lifetime for the Board of Education and, uh, and, and uh, our superintendent. Uh, thank you, David, and thank all you boys, all you people that's with you. You've been great. You've helped us, and I'll never forget. And uh, 
You know, we got Pepsi plant, which has uh, been with me for years. And uh, Mike and the boys, uh, they treat me just like a family when I go there. And, and I could never say enough about Pepsi Cola and the food people, food to bring me food, you know. Uh, I thank them all, Food City, all the folks that's gathered in. And the biggest thing is thank God for all you people. Um, this means to me um, making sure that every child out there has a good Christmas. That's what's important to me, is making sure that they come through here. They see something they want, they're able to get that. And that brings joy to my heart. And that's what this means to me, is just making sure the children are took care of. My most favorite moment was a time there was a child that came up to me. I worked the toy line and we try to ask them what they want. And I asked her what she want. She didn't want anything for herself. She wanted a train for her baby brother. They have come to depend on this for many years. Um, 35 years is a long time to be doing this. There are a lot of families out there that wouldn't have as good of a Christmas that they do have if it were not for this program. So I know a lot of them depend on it, not only for just the gifts, but for the food, for the um, just the general Christmas, the decorations. Some don't have Christmas trees, some don't have couches. So there's a lot that they depend on for this. And if it were not for this, I'm sure there are thousands of children out there that would not have the Christmas that they have without this. The candy, the apples, the oranges, all of that just lights their eyes up. It's important every year to Pike County, this is the 35th year, but more important this year because of the coal miners that's out of work and the family. But uh, this is the 34th year, I missed one of, of the 35. And it is it, it, heart-wrenching to come and see uh, exactly what goes on here today. You'll see people without coats to be warm, you'll see people without shoes, you'll be babies without diapers. And uh, it's uh, that Marlo Tackett has given his life for this. And Marlo's under the weather a little bit this year, but he set that aside. And, and it's going to be a great event today. The parking lot full, cars on the road, the traffic. And it's, uh, it's, it is truly, truly uh, heart-wrenching to, to, to see, see these people, to see people that don't have something to eat at Christmas time to get food to eat. It's a, always a hard day, and Marlo Tackett said it for years for us to go through this every year, but it's worth it.